Hey everyone, so I'm here uh, about to uh, embark on my um, sort of experiment with uh, growing uh, pomegranate um, trees outside in a very cold climate. Um, I'm in uh, the USDA Agricultural Zone uh, 5B, so it does get fairly cold here. The last few years have been uh, quite a bit warmer than average, and hopefully this winter will be as well. Um, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try planting these in two different places and see how they do, see if they survive or not. So for one of them, I'm going to plant right here on my rooftop garden in a, a container, except what I am going to do um, is not really um, plant it. I'm just going to put the pot in here so it's sort of in the soil. The reason being for this is I want to be able to remove it if I need to. Um, you know, if we get really extreme weather where it's going to die for sure, I might just sort of uh, take it in for a night. But that's not really my long-term plan. I'd like to try and leave them um, outside all winter. So I got this container here. Um, and uh, I think it was like four dollars. Anyway. <clears throat> I didn't need to take out a loan or anything to buy it. And uh, so I just put it upside down. This is like my little greenhouse. And uh, the other advantage to this, I'm growing it beside um, my house. I'm actually going to put it on the window side, I think. Because then, yeah, this makes more sense. Because if I do this, then the heat loss from the window should, um, you know, maybe benefit me a little bit. So, yeah, I'm going to bury the pot a little bit, just to keep this up. <clears throat> I grew these from seed um, in the late spring. Transplant them into this pot. No, I didn't pay 472 for it, I just reused this pot. Okay, I'm going to plant it deeper so that works better. Okay, so I've planted this in, have it tucked in. I think what I'm actually going to do is top this, um, just so that the top isn't touching the uh, top of this. That's better. I also like that I have it in the position here that I can look out the window and maybe keep an eye on it, see how it's doing. Okay, there, and that's how it looks. So here we have a quite different strategy. I'm in my backyard, um, and I'm going to leave this one up against the house. Now, the reason I picked this spot, it's really well sheltered. Um, I have a little bit of hedging and stuff. Um, so lots of wind shelter. And also, um, this is my furnace uh, exhaust. And I know for a fact the... Uh, air around here gets very warm. Um, actually, my dryer exhaust is right there. It's a little crooked. Um, so, you know, there's sort of alternate heat sources here. So, the theory is when it's, uh, you know, really cold outside, my furnace will be running, and that should warm the air around here. Um, you know, by more than a few degrees, I'd think. So, we'll see what happens with that. Um, I'll give you guys updates as we get some uh, real winter coming. Anyways, thanks for watching.